Hi, welcome to this video on how to create a title block and a template. First of all, in Automation Studio we have layers. Therefore, let's go into Edit, Layer Properties, and let's create a new layer on which we'll put our title block. Let's call it Title Block. So everything we do will be saved on that specific layer. Let's close the layer window. Now I want to specify the size of my title block. So I'm going to come here, draw a rectangular, just to have an idea or on the size of my title block. Like this. Now let's zoom in this window, view, zoom window. So the first step will be to insert a logo in your title block. So let's put an Automation Studio logo. In your case, it would probably be the logo of your school. Now let's take the logo. As you can see, it's way too big, so I can just shrink it. And put it in my title block. As you can see, when I move my logo, it is snapped to the grid that's why it doesn't move very precisely like that. So what you can do, you go into the snap grid and you put it very small to 120 precision and there you can see when you move it, it's much more flexible to place your logo wherever you want. So let's say I'll put my logo here and I'm gonna put a line below it just to separate, let's say my title block. That's it. Now I want to insert beside the logo the last time that this document was saved. Okay, so I'm going to put a text here in which I'm going to write last saved date. I may want this text to be a different color. You go to edit and then we can put the text red for example. Now I want to insert an automatic field which will take the last save date and time of the file. So I go into Home, Field, I insert the field here, and as you can see now the software automatically brings me to the fields that are available for the title block. So I go to Current Diagram, and now you'll see that I'm going to have saved field. And then I apply. And now I'm going to have the date that it was last saved. Let's put that bold and bigger, like this. And you'll see right now it is 129. So if I go here, project, save project, I'm going to give it a name. And you'll see that automatically the time will change to the present time. I want to add here at the bottom the name of the student who did that diagram. So I'm going to copy my title here, bring it here. I will align it to the left and change the color to blue. And I'm going to put here drawn by. Now I'm going to insert another field, which this one is going to be the name of the student. So I go in my current diagram, drawn by, apply and close. You see nothing is written now in the field because the information was not pre-entered in the software. So if you right click on the document, you go document properties here at the bottom in the information section you have all the comments drawn by first approved by q name title you can insert all these fields which can also be inserted in your title block so drawn by let's put famic technologies in your case it would probably be the name of the student and then if i approve if I close, 
you see now the name is written but it's it's way too small so let's go into edit and I'm gonna put this much bigger align and then I'm gonna put it bold as well so now if I zoom out this could be the title block that I wish to have on my drawing you can create title block that contains much more field like this one for example let me zoom in where we have the title the who did it who verified it the comments creation date revision date and also where the file is currently saved so all the field that we saw in the information tab before can actually be inserted in your title block so what we're going to do now let's zoom out a bit this is the zoom to the entire page zoom page I'm going to insert border on my page like that and I'm also going to insert a bill of material which will list all the component used on the drawing here so here's my bill of material you see it's a bit off I can adjust again the grid to 120 and now I can come and place it exactly where I want I'll zoom back out, zoom page, and let's say that this is the template that I want the students to use when they create their drawing. Now if I save it this way, students can always click on component like that to move them around by choice or by mistake. So what you're going to do, edit, layers properties, and we can lock this layer and then we need to make sure that we position our cursor on the default layer before we close the window. Now if you see I can no longer select the item that I've placed on this diagram. Now I'm ready to save this template. I will go here, project, save project template. So I'm going to give it a name. Let's say my own template. I save. Now the next time the students or anyone goes to home and do a new project, you will find here in the templates my own template. And if you open this one, you automatically have the template that we did. And if you start drawing, you will see that you will automatically also have a list of all the components that you will use on your drawing. Thank you for your time and I invite you to watch the other training videos. Thank you.